I purchased two hive setups, what I thought were just two empty hive setups from a local beekeeper who was getting, getting out of beekeeping. And only until I met with him did I learn that one of the hives had a bunch of bees in it. Instead of absconding, I believe it's likely this colony just merged with that colony over there. This hive had not been inspected for quite a while and so everything was propolized together. You can see the frames from the bottom deep were stuck to the bottom of the frames from the top deep and so when I tried to separate them I ended up rolling bees and squishing bees and bees that were really calm ended up getting pretty agitated quickly. Besides these bees getting very worked up, just look at the size of this hive. In my experience, this is a very large colony. It's a good example of the difference between worker Worker cap brood and drone brood there. The size difference. Drones are coming out. I count at least ten. So the final mite count was actually 12, which is really only a 4% infestation. It's definitely high enough to treat, but not a high enough count to freak out. So I moved this from uh, Rochester. Um, I literally just picked it up and put it in the back of my truck, and now I need to get it into my apiary, so <coughs> I don't have one of those. Little easy loader type thing, so I just gotta do it the old fashioned way. See that I was able to adjust. Gotta get it down there. That is really low, but they were certainly happy to be released. Needless to say, I was excited to add a big, strong colony to my apiary. I then return reduce the colony down to two deeps and add insulation. I see we're frozen in time here. I like this. Classic signs of starvation. Bees buried in the cells trying to get the last little bits of food left. The cluster was still very large and likely strong and healthy, right up to the point they exhausted their resources and starved. Knowing that makes it that much worse. A small patch of capped honey on an outside frame in the bottom of the two brood boxes is all that's left. Why was this left if the colony really starved to death, you might ask? Well. 
they stay clustered together to keep warm, moving slowly upward and consuming honey as they go. The interior of the hive boxes is larger than the cluster, so since they move as one tight unit when it's cold, they can move past some of the resources that are still in the hive. Now if the weather warms enough and they break cluster, then they have a chance of finding a patch like this. Hindsight is 2020. Knowing what I know about the winter, I wrapped up all my hives probably too early. Um, it continued to stay pretty mild and um, warm for quite a while after this. So I certainly could have you know, fed them and I could have fed the rest of my apiary as well for longer than I did. And I absolutely could have tried this mountain camp method of emergency feeding as well. Hopefully you got something out of this video. I appreciate you watching. Thank you.